God has not forgotten about you. Christ was born in obscurity in a humble manner. The marginalized people, the people who did not have all of the fancy garments, they were, they were not wearing the name brand tags. They did not shop at Neiman Marcus. They did not shop at Macy's or Kaufman's. They did not go back to dealers. They did not have all of the names in their garments. They were humble people. They were obscure. They were in a uh, place of, 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 of sometimes hopelessness was all around them. They didn't think there was no way out. And Jesus chooses humble Mary, an ordinary person, to establish an extraordinary thing. He comes in a humble manner in a place. Wow, what a kind of God would do that. What, what a miracle worker. What a loving God. God came to us in human flesh. Yes. This is great news. God is with us and he's preparing the way for us and his preparing was a holy preparation. Yes. Holy preparation. That's the setting but let's look at the sign. What is Isaiah talking about? Isaiah prophesied and foretold of the virgin birth that a virgin shall conceive. He said, therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. That's an awesome name, Emmanuel. A God with us, God with us. The sign is an oath, it's evidence, it's a miracle, it's a mark, it's a signet, it's hope. For Ahaz wavering heart. Ahaz was the king again who was straddling the fence. He was, he was straddling the fence. You have to read the story of how he was afraid and he had um, these apprehensions. He had these hesitations. Somewhat like King Herod. King Herod was um, psycho. He had problems. He, he went crazy worrying about Jesus. Over in Luke chapter 2, he hears about the astrologers and astrology is in the Bible, but God tells us to be careful about astrology. Be, be careful about it, amen. He tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 8, he tells us over there in chapter 18, he tells us in Isaiah chapter 47 to be careful about astrology, but astrologers were around in that day. Notice here that the three wise men, who was not three, but many, but they brought three gifts, they were not even believers. They were not saved. They were not Jews. They, were, they didn't come out of the line of tribe of Judah. They were just men who saw something different that they had never seen before. And they knew that there was a king coming up. There was somebody with power that was going to show up. And they began to navigate and migrate. The Bible says in Luke chapter 2 when they came into the house and they saw the child, the lad. Meaning that it took them some time to get to Jesus. It wasn't just December the 26th or December the 27th. It took them some time to get to where he was. And you remember King Harris said, when you find this bouncing baby boy, let me know where he is so I can go and worship him too. I want to worship him too. He was lying. He was telling him. He wanted to find Jesus so that he could take Jesus out. But sometimes you have to do your social work and you've got to be disobedient socially because he says, he says, come back and tell me. But they left and went back another way. God had warned them in a dream. Ain't dreams awesome? Because God communicates with us even in dreams. Don't always be upset when you have a dream. Sometimes God is speaking to you in a dream. And that's the greatest thing when you have a great dream and you're dreaming and you're thinking, your imagination is roaming. You just ask yourself, God, was you talking to me last night or were I just talking to myself? God will speak to you in a dream. That's the sign. Somebody say the sign. God said, I'm going to show a sign that a virgin shall conceive. But then the son, Genesis 3.15, tells why God is sending the son. Yeah. Genesis 3.15 talks about the seed that will be born of this virgin woman. The second act that Jesus will come in human flesh. Micah 5.2 tells us that he will be born in Bethlehem. Bethlehem means the house of bread. No wonder why the bread of life 
is born in the house of bread. He's born because he is the bread of life that brings sustenance and strength and nourishment spiritually to all of those who are bankrupt and vanished. Isaiah 9 and 8 says a son is given, uh, a child is born, and a son is given. The Hebrew word banner means the builder of a family name. Yeah. The son is given. The son of man, the son of God is given. The one who knows the father. I love to tell a story about Buddy and his friend, and his friend didn't have a bike like he had, and I would pick up bikes off the side of the road, and I would take them when people threw them away, and I would go back home, and I would take them apart and make new bikes, and I would have a few bikes all the way in the garage, in the basement, and Buddy knew, along with his new bike, there was dad that made fix some more bikes, and he told his friend, he said, now why are you riding that bike? That bike is tore up. That bike had the bars are bent, the pedal is missing, the seat ain't even there, and the chain keep popping. And he said, if we go to my daddy, I can ask my daddy for a bike, and he'll give you one. He pulled up in the garage there I was working, and Buddy came there with his friend. He said, Dad, can he have one of the bikes? I said, well, I'll tell you what you have to do. You got to go down in the basement for yourself. You got to take him down in the basement. He can pick out any bike he wants. And he can have it. They went down there, they came back up with the bike. I didn't know whether he was gonna give him the best bike. That's the kind of way he is. He gave him the best bike. He said, Look, Dad, he can have his bike. He said, He can have it. That's what you want him to have. Because he knew the father. And because the father said, Son, you gotta go down in the darkness with your friend and get that bike. Because of that, he was able to receive the blessing. Jesus knows the father, he's the son who came down in darkness. In order to bring us into light, because he's the Savior. Why did Jesus, why did Jesus, who names me, God is our salvation? Why did Christ, who name means the anointed one who has the anointed? Why did he come to abide with us? What does Christ, the anointed one, uh, mean? What does it mean that he abides with us? Why is the immaculate conception of our Lord so significant? Because he is our Savior. The, re the reliability and all of the validation of Christ is wrapped around the fact that he was born of a virgin Mary. That he is the Son of God. That he came down through 42 generations. Matthew chapter 1 gives the lineage that he's of the house of David. And it gives that and shows even David in Jerusalem, even around Bethlehem, was worshiping and lived and was born. Jesus was born in the same place because Joseph was from the house of David. And we see the lineage there that Jesus will come and rescue, redeem, and heal us and save us because he's an unwrapped promise. You don't have to take the ball off. You don't have to pull the paper away. You don't have to throw away the, the, the leftovers. The, the, you don't have to throw away the box and all of the cardboard. You don't, you don't have to. But I tell you what's in the gift. Yeah. In the gift, there is deliverance. In the gift, there is hope. In the gift, there is love. In the gift, there is hope. In the, in the gift, there is a miracle. In the gift, there is peace from the storm and peace from the war. In the gift, there is reconciliation. In the gift, there's a new mind. There's a new heart. There's a new walk. There's a new talk. What's in your gift? When you unwrap the gift, when, when you see Jesus for yourself, when you know that he is your all in all, the one who gave his life for the sins of the world. He did die, was buried, and has risen from the dead and have given us undeniable peace. Somebody said undeniable peace. Undeniable. You cannot deny the peace that God keeps text messaging you and emailing you and, and mailing you and, and depositing on you every day. He's giving you his peace. Jesus said, my peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives give I unto you. In this life, you shall have tribulation, but don't be dismayed, don't be afraid, don't be discouraged, for I have what? Overcome the world. And because of this, uh, we know that 
we have undeniable peace. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say glory. glory. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And somebody just tell them thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The door of my father's house is open. Yes, Lord. The promise of the Son has been given. Yes, Lord. The way to Christ has been made. The goodness of the Lord has been proven. Yes. The sin of the world, the curse of the enemy, has been stamped out. Through the oh, victorious yeah. resurrection of Jesus Christ yeah. and the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from all sin, yeah. guilt, and shame. Don't go into 2023 with none of your trash, none of your baggage, none of your drama, none of your guilt, none of your shame. Just give it to Jesus. Yes. He can handle it. Yeah. He can handle it. Yes, he can. In fact, if you put it in his hand, he can't even touch it because he said, I would not touch an unclean thing. Well, he'll handle it somewhere between like that woman, that Syrophoe Phoenician woman came from the coast of Caesarea Philippi. She cries out to Jesus and said, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Yeah. And she starts worshiping him, son of David. Mm -hmm. And between worship and between walking and between <laughs> worship and between getting back home and between worship and between turning the lock on her key, her daughter was healed from long distance. God can do it Thank right you. here yes, he can. and right now. That centurion soldier whose son had a problem and the disciples that went to him, they didn't have what it took to get the job done. Jesus said, how long shall I be with you? He said, I went to your disciples and nobody could cure my son. Jesus said, bring him to me. Yes. He brought that son and, 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 and right around the same time well, uh, when he said, bring him to me, he 